Hey boys and girls, in this math review video I'm going to show you how to do prime factorization. Now prime factorization, that's kind of the technical term for it. Factor trees is another way to remember it. When you see a question that says write the prime factorization of a number, it basically says make a factor tree. That's what that means. And <clears throat> the first thing we need to do is we need to know what do the words prime and composite mean? Now if you remember a prime number is a number that only has two factors, one and itself. Now, what does that mean? For example, the number two. Two is a prime number because it only has two factors. And what I mean by that is the only way to get two is one times two. There's no other way to do it. Another example is three. The only way to get three by multiplying is one times three. Another number would be five. The only way to get five is one times five. Those are examples of prime numbers. Some other ones, seven, eleven, thirteen. Those are all prime numbers because the only way to multiply and get these numbers is one times the number itself. One times two is two. One times three is three. One times thirteen is thirteen. There's no other way to multiply and get it. Now, other numbers, for example, four, that's a composite number because there's more than one way to multiply and get it. For example, I can do 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. 6 is another composite number because I can do 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. Uh, let's see, what would be next? 8 is a composite number because I can do 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So those are examples of composite numbers. Now, prime factorization. Let's take a look. If it says write the prime factorization of 20, we're going to want to make a factor tree. And we do that by putting two little lines here, and we ask ourselves, what times what equals 20? The thing I love the most about prime factorization is there's more than one way to do it oftentimes. So for example, you might be thinking, well, 10 times 2 is 20. And that's true. Next step is we ask ourselves, are either of these numbers prime? And we know, yeah, 2 is prime, because the only way to get 2 is 1 times 2. Is 10 prime? No, it's not, because there's another way to multiply and get it. So we're going to break this one down further. And 10 is 5 times 2. And we know that, are these prime? Yep, 2 is prime, and 5 is also prime. Remember, prime means the only way to get 5 is 1 times 5, and the only way to get 2 is 1 times 2. So now we have circled our prime numbers, and I have 5 times 2 times this other 2. That's the prime factorization, because if we look and multiply these together, 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 times 2 is 20, which is what we started with. Now the cool thing, watch this. There's another way to do this. Some of you might have been thinking, wait a second, 10 times 2, I was thinking 4 times 5. That is another way to do it. So let's do the same thing. Are either of these prime? The 5 is prime, so we're going to go ahead and circle that. The 4 is not, so we have to break it down a little bit more. And that would be 2 times 2, which we can see these are both prime. So we'll go ahead and circle those. Okay, and now let's write down the numbers that we circled, 2 times 2 times 5. Now, notice our tree looks a little different, but look at the numbers at the bottom. They're in a different order, but it's the same numbers. They're the same numbers. I have two twos and one five. I have two twos and one five. So the cool thing about prime factorization is there are more, there's more than one way to do it oftentimes, but as long as you get the same numbers at the bottom, it's okay. So let's check out another example. Now I've got 24 written three times up here because I'm going to show you there's three different ways to do this. Now, ask yourself, what times what is 24? Okay, well, let's start with how about 6 times 4 is 24. Are either of these prime? Nope, so we've got to break them down more. Remember, prime means there's more than one way to multiply and get that besides 1 times 6 and 4 times 4. So 6 can be 2 times 3, and 4 can be 2 times 2. Are these prime? Yes, they are. They're all prime. So 
I can circle them all. And how many twos do I have? I have three twos, so I could say two times two times two times, and then I have one three. Now, I could have also written it two times three times two times two, but oftentimes it's a good idea to kind of group them together. And remember, there's another way we could write this with scientific no notation. If I have three twos, I can write that as two to the third power times three. Two to the third power means two times itself three times, or three twos. Now, let's look up here. I could have also done eight times three. <clears throat> three is prime, so I'm going to circle that. I'm going to break down eight some more into four times two. Two is prime, so I'm going to circle that, but four is not, so I've got to break it down a little bit more. And I'm going to get two times two, which we know those are prime numbers. Now notice, did my tree look different? It did, but look at the numbers I circled. I have one, two, three twos. So I have one, two, three twos, and one three, which is the same thing that I had over here. Sa different tree, same numbers at the bottom. What's the final way we could have done this? We could have done 12 times 2 is 24. 2 is prime, so we'll circle that. 12 is not, so we have to break that down more. And then I could say 6 times 2, or I could say 4 times 3. I'll go ahead and do 4 times 3. Again, <clears throat> this is prime. This is not, so we'll break it down. These are now prime. So notice what we have. How many twos? I've got three twos. Again, one, two, three, and one, three. So again, the factor trees look different, but the numbers that you circle at the end will be the same. So that's prime factorization.